Hey, let's talk about adding a screen to Darkroom software. Right here we have our Neon Screen Pack. It's one of our most popular screens. And uh, I'm going to show you how to add this in. It's going to be all the way through from the attract screen all the way down to the end instructions. So let's get started. You've already been on here. You've, you've added to cart and you've downloaded. So we're going to head it over to our downloads folder which is right here and you'll see our file it's, it usually starts with pbg we're going to click on that once we're going to come up to the top and we're going to hit compressed folder tools okay and then we're going to press extract all the reason why we want to do the extract all is because you can't just drop this this zip folder into any software and i said any software it won't work so we got to get the mp4 files. Let's go next. So I'm putting this right back into the downloads folder. All right, so it popped up and now we have all of our screens. So countdown, attract screen, look at the camera, looking hot, so on and so on. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump over to darkroom. Here we go. Okay. Next thing is we're going to when we're in Dark room. This is a screen that you'll see that pops up first. We're going to come up to the top on output and we're going to come down to device control. It's straight down the middle, right above the start booth mode. Okay, we're going to hit that. We'll go ahead and expand this so you can see this a little bit better. All right, down here at under the device on off actions. We're going to be in booth stages and we're going to start out with attract mode. Okay, so we click on that. We're going to hit add. We're going to come down to video. And the very first thing I always do is I start with the settings. I go to loop video, maintain aspect ratio, and playback using full screen. And then I come up to our browse button. And then I'm going to click on quick access. I'm going to come to downloads and there's our folder for the neon set okay and we're going to click it again and so our attract screens right here neon attract screen we're going to click on this and there's that file right there neon attract screen now the numbers at the end that's actually for photo uh, that's for photo master mirror me uh, software that was done before their their version 10 so that's you don't have anything to worry about with that so we're going to click on that hit open and we're going to hit ok so now we have our video and the details we have our uh, our video there and we're going to hit ok <clears throat> if you're on a mirror booth then you're going to want to click on during startup hit add and then go to booth command here and then you're going to want to add start session okay so what that's going to do is it's going to automatically start the session as soon as the person touches the screen on the attract mode if you do not want this if you do not want the during startup and you want to have buttons there so for example you want a two by six button a four by six button a black and white a, a kardashian filter button whatever it may be you want it to go to an experience screen then you just remove the during startup okay so keeping down this line we're not going to do start photo session or video session we're going to go to end instructions okay and we're going to hit add video browse and then we're going to pop back and we're going to go to the thank you screen here we go and again loop video we're not going to do loop video um, we're going to do maintained aspect ratio and playback using full screen okay and we're going to hit ok all right before photo this is where the fun stuff goes so i'm going to assume we're having a one photo shot okay session one photo session we're going to hit add video Maintain aspect ratio, playback using full screen. We're going to hit browse. 
So, no, sorry. Back up. We're going to go to multiple files. Okay. Then we're going to hit add. And then we're going to find two of the before photos that we, videos that we like. So we'll do the look at the camera. That's one. Okay. We're going to add another one. And that's going to be, this is your moment. Okay. Now what this does is because I added two screens there, it's going to randomly play those two screens on different sessions. Okay. And I'll hit okay. Now, after photo, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to hit add, and then we're going to go to video. Again, maintain aspect ratio and playback using full screen. Hit browse, and then we're going to use so dreamy. Oh, So what I did there is I went back and I went to multiple files. I'm hitting add and then I'm going to come in and pick another one. So we'll do stunning and we're going to add another one because I believe there was another one. So we're going to do, oh, that was it. So we'll hit okay. The Last thing I'm going to put in here is countdown. So I'm going to go in here, hit add video, and then add video, and then maintain the aspect ratio and play back using full screen. Hit browse, and then we're going to come into the countdown, and we're going to hit OK and OK. And now we have a fully working video.